It's 1972. And um, as usual, I was a combination of stoned and drunk. And I was in Boston in these big towers where our dorm was. So my friends were having a party. I had been studying with my friends and we really couldn't focus, so that's when I went over. Okay. What did I say when I came in? Was I rude or was yeah, I like you nice? You said like, um, hey, could you guys keep it down? I'm, I'm trying to study or I'm trying to sleep or, or whatever. And I, I just remember thinking, that's like really, she looks like really weird. She was tall, she was a little gawky, she hadn't really fully formed yet. And she had this giant like or frozen orange juice can on top of her head with her hair wrapped around it, like a curler. Two of them. Everyone did that back then. Somehow I said to myself, um, wow, <laughs> what a babe. And I had like this instant crush on her. I didn't see her again for about a month. It was Halloween. But I do remember passing some stand and thinking, I'm going to get these pumpkins and bring them to the girl that I met a month ago. So it was actually very well, very well thought out. And I'm sure I was carrying my guitar with me because I carried it everywhere, just as a point. As I was walking to bring the pumpkins to Shira, I was, I was very excited. It was like three o'clock in the morning. I wasn't at my best, I was a little rough. I, I was hoping this was gonna fucking work. I opened the door and it, it was just adorable. And he was clearly stoned. So I said, I have um, many pumpkins. I don't think I knew her name at that point. I remember this as clear as day. And he said, I have many, many pumpkins for you, Shira. And there were three pumpkins. It was this expression of such like, I have brought this to you. I have gone far and brought you these amazing gifts. I felt very like kind of giddy and like, he likes me. But it's interesting how, how from how that night then became a friendship where it really should have become dating or a girlfriend. This was this brief period because I was dating these two other guys briefly. I was actually um, jealous of them. Well, first they were um, really lowlifes. The first guy was the really small hobbit-like guy. And all we ever did was make out, except that he was so tiny he sat on my lap when we made out. Well, Ed, Ed was just like the greasiest guy. And I don't mean just as a, as, a, as a term, he was literally greasy. I mean, there was grease like dripping off of him. And if I remember correctly, he had asked mom to shoplift. Yeah, the feeling was, why wouldn't she be with me when she was with these guys? And I was like, you know, pretty good. During this friendship of this year, Rick carried his guitar everywhere, literally but he would play guitar for me at night, and he- Was I good? <laughs> I always say one of the reasons I fell in love with him is just he played this fabulous sort of Southern blues, and it was really soulful and very sexy, and I just thought he was extremely cool. What was the name of the devil song? Say no to the devil. Say no, say no to the devil. Say no. But, but the point of it is, is we, were, we became very good friends all through our freshman year. You had gone to Europe with your friends for the summer, and I started to realize, oh my God, I really am missing Ricky. I, I, I love this guy. This is not, he's not just my best friend, but like, this is more, and we wrote letters. I don't remember letters. But I came back from Europe, and Mom said to me in a really stuttering kind of way, uh, uh, I, uh, I uh, think I love you. And I remember going, I can't deal with this, and literally left the room. And walked around the halls a few times. I was, I was like hyperventilating. We obviously had missed the step. The step is dating, getting to know somebody, um, spending a lot of time with them, somebody saying the L word at some point, 
you know, Shira kind of um, said that before we even went through that. And then I seem to remember I came in and said, you know, um, I stuttered a little bit and I said, I think a lot. Like, I think, uh, I guess, um, uh, yeah, 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 I guess I love you too. When we first met, your hair was long and brown. We had never kissed, so we literally that evening, we, we kissed for the first time. He was just, I don't know, he, he felt like my heart. Crushes where you literally feel like every time you see the person, your heart is like totally passing out. It's like being in a haze. That's maybe why the word crush, because you do feel crushed. And how many people really have a crush, and then that ends up being the real relationship? Which we did, so, and that does happen. Crushes turn into pumpkins, and then it turns into love. It does. Sometimes.